Castillo de San Felipe de Barrios in Cartagena, Colombia. The Castillo San Felipe de Barrios is a fortress in the city of Cartagena, Colombia. The castle is located on the hill of San Lazaro in a strategic location, dominating approaches to the city by land or sea. It was built by the Spanish during the colonial era. Construction began in the year 1536, and it was originally known as the Castillo de San Lazaro. It was expanded in 1657. The greatest fortress ever built by the Spaniards in any of their colonies, the Castillo de San Felipe de Barrios still dominates an entire section of Cartagena's cityscape. It should definitely be the first fortress you visit. The original edifice was quite small. It was commissioned in 1630, and construction began in 1657 on top of the 40 meters high San Lazaro Hill. In 1762 an extensive enlargement was undertaken, which resulted in the entire hill being covered with this powerful bastion. It was truly impregnable and was never taken despite numerous attempts to storm it. A complex system of tunnels connected strategic points to allow provisions to be distributed and to facilitate evacuation. The tunnels were constructed so that any noise reverberated all the way along them, making it possible to hear the slightest sound of an approaching enemy's feet, and also making internal communication easy. San Felipe de Barrios Castle is one of Cartagena's most iconic landmarks, a place visited by almost all tourists who travel to the city. It also has a remarkable history, stretching back over 480 years. The castle has been invaded by pirates, admirals, and barons in its long history, but stands proudly to this day. Here is a brief history of San Felipe de Barrios Castle. The crowning glory of the Spanish Empire's defensive network of Cartagena, work first began on the fortress in 1536, when it was known as San Lazaro Castle. Pirates roaming the Caribbean in those days had their eyes fixed on the wealth of Cartagena de Indias a city rich in profits from the shipping industry and nascent slave trade. Spain needed to defend their prized asset, and they built the defensive walls that today surround the old town, as well as several key strategic forts. The most impressive overlooked the city from the top of a 130-foot high hill, perfectly positioned with commanding views of the bay in front of Cartagena. The castle that still stands today was expanded significantly in 1657, and renamed after Philip IV of Spain. Starting out with just eight cannons, and a small garrison of 20 soldiers and four gunners, the castle was expanded once again in 1763 by Antonio de Arevalo. It was given further repairs and improvements by José de Herrera y Sotomayor in 1739. San Felipe was often in need of repairs due to the unfortunate habit Cartagena had for attracting pirate raids. The castle first fell to an assault in 1697 by the French privateer Sir Bernard de Sgien, Baron de Pointes and Jean-Baptiste Ducas, during the War of the Grand Alliance, a nine-year conflict fought between Louis XIV of France and a European coalition which included the Spanish Empire. South Omeor's subsequent repairs included strengthening the defensive capabilities of the fortress, with the addition of extra fortifications and gun turrets. These additions would prove useful in 1741. In 1741, during another nine-year war known as the War of Jenkins or to so-called because the seeds of the conflict were sown when a British merchant captain named Robert Jenkins lost an ear in a confrontation with the Spanish Coast Guard between Britain and Spain. Vice Admiral Edward Vernon attacked Cartagena. What followed was a crushing loss for Britain, as the Spanish Admiral Blas de Lazo successfully defended the city, helped in no small way by the defensive strength of San Felipe Castle. The British lost around 10,000 men in the battle, too many admittedly to yellow fever too with around 3,000 falling during the assault on the castle. The city was successfully defended from 23,000 British troops and 186 ships with just 3,000 men and 6 ships. The castle was attacked once more during the Spanish-American Wars of Independence when a Spanish force under the command of Pablo Murillo arrived at the city in 1815. By the end of the year, Cartagena had fallen, and the entirety of New Granada was under royalist control by May 1816. 
emphasizing the vital strategic role the city had in protecting the empire. Nowadays a visit to San Felipe Castle is a decidedly more tranquil affair, with tourists from all around the world visiting to walk the castle walls, explore the network of tunnels running beneath the ramparts, and take photos with one of the San Felipe's 68 cannons. In 1984 UNESCO listed the castle, along with the old city of Cartagena, as a World Heritage Site. The castle had, until that point, fallen into disrepair, with vegetation covering the walls. The mighty castle, once the pride of Spanish military architecture in the New World, has been used by the Colombian government as the location for cultural and social events since 1990, it remains as formidable and impressive as ever, towering over the Bay of Cartagena. Like us and join us at Xtreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.